I'm Aaron Hickson and uh, live in Kaysville, Utah. We bought the home uh, two years ago, December, and uh, we built it. And at that time had no thoughts of going solar, uh, but our next door neighbors did and uh, asked them about it. And uh, then they put me in contact uh, with Intermountain and I talked to Cade and in that conversation, um, he talked about um, a battery backup, and it was the battery backup actually that got me more interested. And then when he said that battery was Tesla, um, then it was even more peaked abo above that. To summarize, and then I'll go into detail, I think my only regret is that I didn't go for the two battery option. If I had two batteries, it would have been perfectly fine. I think I would have been 100%, 100% of the year. Um, knowing that it was still a, a large um, t cost difference, it would have been cheaper to have done two than, um, then, than getting another one later. The cool thing about it is since I've had it, there was one time where our street did not have power. It was at night and I was away from the home, but my family was here and I got a, a a text from my next door neighbor who has solar but does not have a battery backup and said your house is the only one glowing on the street and I'm sure people are going to know now um, that you have a battery backup or at least wondering why you have power and no one else does and when I called my wife to say hey I guess the power's out she's like I have no idea I mean there was no change and and that's the cool thing is even when it goes from um, the grid to the power wall it is so fast that I don't even know what's happening. And they always say it's so fast that the clock on your, on your microwave doesn't change. Um, it, there's, not, there's no change at all, and it, it is remarkable. And so knowing that um, approximately 11 p.m. Um, every night, it, it goes, kicks in on the battery, and uh, all through the night, I'm using the, um, the battery and not the grid. I can watch my movies, I can stream the internet, I can do whatever I'm doing, and it's awesome. So without the power wall, the battery backup, when the sun is up and the, power, the, the panels are getting solar, I'm running off the solar, or I'm selling it back to the city. But when the sun goes down, or it's a very overcast day, I am back on the grid. And, uh, but with the power wall, it kicks in and I can change the settings. So the Tesla app is quite amazing. It's very customizable and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out how to use the app. Um, when the sun goes down, where I would have back, been back on the grid, I am using my power wall and it's, it's throughout the night. And there's sometimes because of the geek in me that I will look and I will see, oh, I'm using, it's going from the, the battery to my house and very rarely is it going from the grid when I look at it. I'd say every 10 times I look at the app, maybe one time I'm pulling from the grid. The power, power wall has a green light on it, so I know where it, if it's charged or not. Um, looks very much like the um, picture here. And uh, so when I go downstairs, I can see that. And if I see all green, that means it's fully charged and ready to go. One of the concerns I had is, is it going to be an eyesore? Um, you know, the big black panels that are on the roof and our roof is brown. Is everybody gonna notice that? Is it just gonna be weird? And I went back and forth on the placement and talked to everybody that came. Um, and honestly, since it's been installed um, since June, so we're uh, about five months in or four months in, I haven't even noticed it and uh, I, so my eye doesn't get drawn to it, and so I'm assuming that nobody else's does either. And even if they did, it isn't an eyesore. Uh, it's, it's, it says that, uh, you know, whether I care about the environment or I'm saving money, either way, I think people respect that and it doesn't have a, um, a downside. 